<laughs> All right, last time I came up with a bunch of pieces of paper, now I've made it a pretty graphic, so it'll be a little <laughs> bit easier for you to read. So this is the last time it was this hot, and so it was this hot or hotter in Ramona El Cajon Alpine in 2020. In San Diego, we actually hit 95 degrees in 2022. I don't think we're going to break that, but we were haven't seen temperatures that warm, 89 degrees is what we saw today since 2022, Palomar Mountain and Vista as well. So 2020 and 2022 had a heat wave during this same stretch, and that's why so many of our records are going to be really hard to reach. So I'm not expecting triple digit temperatures downtown. We actually have seen those for record highs, believe it or not. Temperatures for the Escondido area were also just way hotter than where our records are. But Ramona's pretty close today. We were only degree shy of that record of 112. We hit 111. Campo and Borrego Springs have been hotter than this this year. So the mountains and the deserts, most mountain and desert areas, I should say, have seen very warm temperatures since then. All right, let's talk about your hour by hour for tonight. It's going to be warm by seven o'clock. Some of us along our coast are still in the 80s by nine o'clock mid 70s. When I see you at 11 o'clock tonight, most areas will be in the mid 70s at the coast and inland neighborhoods. We're still going to be seeing temperatures near 80 degrees. I expect to see still a few 80s at 8 o'clock tonight, only dripping down into the 70s by tomorrow morning. That goes for the coast, inland, and mountain areas. The deserts are also going to be seeing the extreme heat during the day, close to 120 for some areas tomorrow, and overnight lows in the 80s and 90s. So along the coast, we're going to see those temperatures warming very quickly. Actually, all across the county. Temperatures warm very quickly. Look at this. By 9 a.m. we're in the 80s. For Oceanside tomorrow, it's another day in the 90s. So I wanted to highlight that because that is going to be one of the hotter areas along the coast. Plenty of sunshine. Nothing is blocking these clear skies, the sunshine, it is just shining so brightly. You step outside. Wale said it best. As soon as you step out of the car, you're just like, oh, it's so hot. So the heat advisory for the coast has been extended until Monday night. We're looking at 80s along the immediate beaches, but you go just a mile or two inland, you're going to be in the 90s. And then the farther inland you go, we're talking about mid 90s, even close to 100 degrees. And then those morning lows in the 70s, so you don't get a whole lot of relief in the overnight hours. Back near normal by Wednesday and Thursday. That's when we're really going to notice the temperatures feeling a lot more comfortable for the inland neighborhoods. I want to track your hour by hour tomorrow because it's even more impressive by eight. We're in the 80s by 10. Some of us are already going to be in the triple digits and we're topping off right about 107 for an average tomorrow by eight o'clock still in the mid 90s. So for the inland neighborhoods, the excessive heat warning has also been extended until Monday night. Temperatures in the triple digits up to 113 for the hotter spots. That's going to be like Ramona, where the safari park is, and then those morning lows only dipping down into the 70s. Saturday, we get a little surge of monsoon moisture, and there is a slight chance that we could see some storms in the inland neighborhoods, the mountains. I do expect isolated showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Looking at the temperatures compared to average, Ramona seeing the biggest spread, 22 degrees above the 90, which is average. Alpine is 20 degrees above average. Most of us are in that 10 to 15 degrees above normal. We're back in the low 90s by early next week. And for the desert areas, we do have that excessive heat warning for the mountains and deserts. It has not been extended. It is still set to expire at tomorrow night, but we're still looking at a lot of triple digits and the desert areas close to 120 tomorrow. Significantly cooler by Thursday. We're down to 103, which is not only below average. I mean, that is like 20 degrees cooler than it's been. So it's well 15. It's just insane how hot it is right now. Yeah, it'll be a breath of fresh air. I cannot wait. <laughs> Thursday.